Welcome to my backyard garden. Today I'm going to show you how I prune my cantaloupe, cucumbers, and pumpkin to keep them under control and healthy. When I'm growing cantaloupe, cucumber, pumpkin, squash, anything that's like a viney plant, I want to keep them pruned like I do my tomatoes. And I use the single stalk method. So I prune all the uh, suckers and I prune back leaves. So helps with air circulation and I want to keep my uh, plants from getting out of control and just going all over the place. So just like tomatoes, these plants, these are my uh, cantaloupe, they have suckers. So suckers grow off uh, in shoots and I don't want them here so I'm going to prune them and cut them off just like I do with my tomatoes. It might look like a lot of plants in here, but I only have four. And so that's why I'm going to trim this back. Here's another sucker right there. You can see the growth head. Here's another one here on this plant. I'm going to cut this off. Now, one thing I want to do when I do trim off the suckers is if there's some fruit have already formed and they haven't yet on this, these plants, I want to cut off above the fruit so I can save that. The other part of the pruning process for my plants is to take off the bottom leaves. I want to get the leaves that are close to the ground so if it rains it doesn't splash the soil up onto the leaves and transfer any soil-borne uh, diseases. These leaves down here are the ones I'm going to take off. This is the plant itself, so I'm going to snip all these bottom leaves off here and get them up off the ground. This was a male flower, so no loss in that, cutting that one off. Alright, so that's what I'll do. I'm going to take this other little one off here too. Now you'll see that right here, that might be a flower, so I'm going to leave that on there. The flowers here and there. The third thing I do with my pruning after I've uh, got the suckers off and pruned around the base of the plant is to get every other leaf out. And I do that also to help with air circulation. Now this plant goes down here and all the way out to here and I'm going to take off every other leaf. All done. And see how that opens that up and there's still plenty of leaf surface there to for the plant to do its photosynthesis and send all those nice sugars down to the soil and all those microbes down in the soil that produce the food for the plant. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the rest of this uh, bed done. And this is what uh, I've taken off. So it looks like a lot of leaves but that's what I've got left. And it's uh, cleared out really nicely. We're going to have some nice air circulation now. I'm not going to have to worry about soil borne diseases. The only thing you might want to look at is the soil isn't shaded out, so it's, the water's going to evaporate faster. So I'll have to keep it watered a little bit better. But other than that, I left the uh, last few leaves at the end of each of the plants, and I'll just uh, manage that as we go along. Now I've got to go do my cucumbers and pumpkins. Hope that was helpful. If you like the video, please give it a like. Leave your comments below, and please subscribe to my channel. I'll be back soon with more stuff. Bye-bye.